When the bank told me, Jürgen, go to the COP26, my first thought was where to get a good hotel, a good accommodation. So, ask your colleagues. I checked the group directory and guess what? I only found one colleague and I will meet him today. Hey, hey. How you doing? See you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your adventure been? Uh, a, real, a real adventure. So, Stephen, what's your impression about uh, Glasgow COP and protests? I think it's a. Uh, I think it's a worthwhile thing. I think I think the protests, the, the, a lot of them make a lot of good points, and I think it's important that that other voices, smaller voices, get heard. You know, compared to the politicians and the businessmen. When did you start working out of Glasgow? So I joined Deutsche Bank for the second time in 2007, and then and then made the move to Glasgow in 2012. What was the driver? Um, we had a baby. And my wife is Glaswegian as well. She won't mind me saying, hit the panic button and said, I'd quite like to go back to Glasgow to have grandparents for our daughter and, and friends around with children. And the bank was extremely understanding and accommodating. They knew me, they had five years of, of experience of working with me and knowing what I could do and I could work independently. In 2012, ongoing in Glasgow, when did you meet the last real DB person? 2015, I think, maybe 2016. I, I met my, my, my manager at the time, very briefly, <laughs> uh, on, a, on a trip to London to, 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 uh, to do a, a training course. Yeah. And I stopped by and met my immediate colleagues and then back on the train home. So, so after six years, six that's years. The amazing, amazing, amazing. And they had, they had to organize a global climate conference just so we could meet. What do you think about development here in Scotland, about new renewable energy or generally sustainability? Um, I, I think I think the, the country is making good steps towards uh, sustainability and renewable energy. A, a very high percentage of, of Scotland's heating and light is, is generated um, through wind power and, and, and they're looking into um, using the sea, wave power and that, that sort of thing, which, which I think is, is, is great. We, like I say, have a very high percentage now of, of usage of that. Um, so we're, we're, making, we're making good strides. What changed in your private life? Oh, well, as, as we know by now, I work from home. Um, I have a, a very small footprint because I am home five days a week, no commuting, no driving about. Um, so yes, it, it, it makes, I guess, I'm quite green, almost, almost by accident, I think. But um, it, it feels good to, you know, if more people work like me, then, you know, the problems will start to, 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 to dissipate a little. Um, pick up one of the letters. Mm -hmm. I give you a pencil and note down a wish you, what you expect from the conference. Which one do you want to have? Uh, I will take this one. It has some empty spaces. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Uh, What's your wish now? Uh, my wish is more voices. That sounds uh, good. Yes, in, in the sense that I think um, everybody, I think, should have a, a seat at the, at the table for discussions on climate. Everybody is impacted and it should not purely be the domain of, of, of politicians. I appreciate they make the decisions, but I think input is, is, is important on all decisions. Mm -hmm.